Hi, I'm Tom Rubel, Executive Director of the Morgan Arts Council. And today, welcome to today's version of State of the Art. I'm happy to have with us Jerry Kiefer. Jerry is uh, curating our current show called Iceland in the Ice House, which is, uh, fits well with, uh, with the history of this building. Um, so Jerry, tell me about, uh, basically, how, let's talk about the curating first. How did this okay. come together? It came together several years ago actually sometime between 2003 and 2010, I don't know the exact, the exact year, when I curated a group show of women artists in the Winchester area, mm -hmm. uh, one of whom is a colleague of mine at Shenandoah University, a photographer, and the others were painters. And I really enjoyed the opportunity to, right, right from the beginning, to curate a show where I would put the show together, help hang it, um, write the artist statements, and it just was a very, fruitful opportunity and turned out to be a great show. And I thought at that point, I'd like to do another one. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity actually gelled over a two year period, 2016 to 2017, starting with my artist residency in Iceland mm -hmm. in May of 2016. I was there an entire month at the Gulkestan Center for Creativity in Leugervat, which is a small town about an hour from Reykjavik mm -hmm. on hot springs. And so very historical and very beautiful. Um, I worked there with other artists and also writers for a month drawing maps, which is my art form. Uh -huh. um, and at the time, I was, had the good fortune of meeting one of the other artists in this show, Susan Singer, who was also an artist in residence. Mm -hmm. And I purchased one of her works, a pastel landscape of the lake. And at that point, I thought, you know, this would be really interesting if I could put a show together and maybe include some Icelandic artists. Mm -hmm. But I knew that the Arts Council likes five artists, and right there, there were two of us. Right. So the whole thing sort of just got filed for a year. And then in 2017, in March, um, I went back. And I went back this year, too, but the time in 2017 was about 10 days. Yeah. Uh, I was on my own, staying in the same town, but I spent a day and an evening in Reykjavik, and I met the third artist, Sigtrigur, who is an uh, abstract designer, uh -huh. draftsman, photographer, media artist, performance artist, and I just was fascinated. I saw his show in Reykjavik, I met him, and I thought, okay, this is number three. Yep. Uh, and actually an artist from Iceland, but I thought, well, this isn't gonna work because I have to somehow get him to agree to either send drawings to right. West Virginia right. or send them to me in Virginia, or I have to pick them up. Well, to make a long story short, he mailed them to me. Oh, nice. And he was delighted to be in the show, and also then, that gave me the opportunity to look for two more artists. Great. So we and have five artists in the show. Yes. So we're down. We have three now. Uh huh. And um, so that Elizabeth Stacy Hurley is an Icelandic-born artist living in Hagerstown. Mm -hmm. Now to find someone in Hagerstown, That's an Icelandic-born <laughs> artist, what are who the does chances, glorious right? landscape paintings, was an absolutely um, wonderful opportunity. And I found her through a friend of mine, David Heatwall who was an artist in residence in Winchester mm -hmm. when I was doing another residency at the Discovery Museum there. Because I said, you know, I really need two more artists. Yeah. I really wanted to do this show. And that, that was in summer of 17. Well, that's great. Well, and it's so kind of, kind of interesting <laughs> to me that, you're, that you not only uh, were doing a residency in an artist community, with hot springs, well, our springs here aren't quite as hot, but we do have that's the springs, true. Yes. and uh -huh. now we have uh, the, ar the artists uh, coming here from Iceland. So that's cool, it's a great international connection. Yes. Um, in terms of the composition of, of the show, what forms of art do we have? I know we have okay. photography. Photog well, that's the fifth artist, mm -hmm. and actually it was Eddie Rubin uh -huh. who put me in contact with Derek Kahn. Yep. So I wanted a photographer, and that was a perfect fifth artist. Mm -hmm. So we have photography. I do map drawings. Um, what I have in this show are some of my more literal drawings where I take old maps of Iceland that I find on the internet, mm -hmm. I print them, um, I graph them, and then I enlarge them, and then I take them apart. So yeah. I have lots of little drawings of parts of Iceland from maps of the 19th century. 
and I stained the paper with coffee so the paper looks old as if it had been an old map right. and a folio and had yellowed with age. Uh -huh. um, Susan Singer from Richmond is a pastelist. She was the other artist in residence with me in Iceland in 2016. And then Sigtrigura does drawings with various colored pencils. They're very graphic and they're also very gritty. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful. They're, he calls them the Aurora Borealis series. So they stream across the page just right. like the Aurora. And then Elizabeth Stacy Hurley does traditional oil landscape paintings. Mm -hmm. So uh, mostly 2D art. Great. Tell, tell me a little bit about your residency there in terms of um, what, what inspired you during your one month residency. I mean, being in Iceland, obviously, uh, it, it pulled you in some direction in terms of your art. Right. Well, uh, I had found this residency on the internet, which I do a lot of, and I found that being there a month would give me an opportunity re to really explore my map drawings. Mm -hmm. So I brought with me, uh, of course, a laptop and lots of paper yep. and a project, and I was able to do some drawings there and some mixed media collages which were very expressive. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the work I do is very controlled and I'm looking at a map and conveying this map to that paper. But I was able to really bring to life what I thought what may have been the birth of Iceland as an island. Mm -hmm. So some of those drawings, they're, they're not in this show, they'll be in another show in Ohio. I have three shows this fall. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it allowed me to really kind of explore more expressive drawing techniques. And I needed the time to do that. Yeah, when you when you've talked to the other artists, uh, just as, even in setting up the show, have you had intersected at all about um, I, you know their experience with Iceland and what may have drawn them? Derek, for example, I know has traveled extensively and mm -hmm. he's he's uh, shown some of his world photography here before. Uh, have you had a chance to see what inspired them about Iceland in terms of you know their work? Well, Susan, of course. She and I are friends mm -hmm. because we were co-residents. She has also done two other residencies over the, the last two years uh -huh. on other parts of Iceland. So she has illuminated me about how beautiful the rest of Iceland is because I've only been in the south uh, in the southwest part. Yeah, uh, I pretty much stayed there because when I travel alone, I don't want to get stuck someplace in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with a rental car. Right. Uh, <laughs> been there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so uh, Elizabeth, we haven't really talked that much, but she is a really passionate painter. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to having more time to talk with her at the opening on Friday night. What about uh, did, when you were in Iceland, did you have a chance to, to observe uh, other local forms of art? I mean, oh, yes. That, that, yes. can you describe some of those? Well, pottery, mm -hmm. lots of ceramics, um, definitely beautiful crafts, glass, um, certainly drawing and painting, um, but I think the crafts are, are very, very strong, and you find them in very small places, yeah. out-of-the-way galleries. Also textile art, and actually wearable art. The Icelandic sweater is made from, of course, Icelandic sheep mm -hmm. and wool, and that is an incredible art form. And these are in museums and small galleries and small shops, and they're run by local people. Yeah. So you're not going I mean, you, you can go to the souvenir shop, but you will not find these really fine quality items. So yep. I would say these crafts, you have to look up the artists and look up the new venues. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, we're ver I'm very much forward looking, to, looking forward to the show. Um, I have not yet been to Iceland, so I'm, it's on my bucket list. Um, yeah, okay. And I'll, come to, I'll get some advice from yeah. you on Oh, definitely. <laughs> I can tell you. And, and also about rental cars and, and roads <laughs> right. and other things that right. are important to know. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, we uh, are excited to have you here. We're looking thank forward you. to the opening on Friday night. And uh, we thank you for joining us uh, with State of the Art. And we'll see you next time.